Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to the DM Demo 1000 Day Challenge. This day, DM 25, so let's get things started. All right, just doing a very quick update, run through, nothing much of a major difference. Equity balance remains the same. In terms of the overall market direction itself, I will still lean towards neutral to slightly a little bit more bullish in terms of S&P 500 Nasdaq. If you're looking in terms of the, the very short to be uh, short near to short term, in that sense, meaning to say in the next one day to one week perspective, I still lean towards upside momentum. However, things can definitely do change, especially the overall momentum is still leading towards the downside. So be a little bit cautious. But at the same time, we do see some signs of a potential decent bounce towards the upside as well. And if you look in terms of the China equity market itself, ASHR is still leaning towards slightly neutral to slightly bearish momentum. On the other hand, KWEB looks a little bit slightly better. But that being said, overall, we still have a lot of, uh, we have a very huge drawdown compared to where we were at an all time high itself. So that's something to be cautious about. And then finally, for Bitcoin itself, we did see a very nice green bullish candlestick, but bearing in mind, volume is still not picking up. And that's definitely expected of things. I would say that it's definitely a lack of a selling pressure itself. But generally, you see a strong selling pressure, a decent bounce, followed by, say, a decent attempt of a break. I would consider this as a potential force break setup. So what potentially could happen is you could form a high, a lower high, and then even the lower high itself before you break decisively below this 15 uh, 0.5k region itself, in which case we could make a catastrophic drop to the 14k region. And if we do fall to that region and see a very nice bounce, even if it does bounce up to the 15k itself, even higher and closes it, and then open high itself, the opening high itself will trigger my buy condition in terms of a potential confirmation for capitulation itself. Alternatively, what I do see potentially as in how long you take to consolidate is basically to give time for this 20 explanation moving average to catch up with the price itself before a potential short setup can be entered in that sense. All right, with that said, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.